Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. All ponds require regular maintenance, and water changes are an essential part of that maintenance. After every water change, you need to fill with fresh water. So, out comes the hose pipe, on goes the tap, and you wait. And wait and wait. Then boredom sets in and you realize it's gonna take an hour for the pond to fill back up. So off you go and find something more interesting to occupy your mind. Later in the day you realize that the hose is still running Water in the pond is slopping over the sides and you've wasted hundreds of gallons. Hopefully you're not on a water meter. Then you have to wrestle the hose back onto the reel or just drag it off to the side and drop it down like a lump of giant spaghetti. Think about this. If you have a pond for 25 years and you do a water change every week, you will do this 1300 times. What a nightmare. So what's the alternative? How can this be avoided? Simple. It's easy. The problem was solved nearly 200 years ago by Mr. Thomas Crapper when he designed a floating ball cock system. As the water level drops, the ball cock will fall. And water will flow through the valve. When the pond is full, the valve will close automatically and prevent any wasted water. To set up a ball cock, Connect your pond to your mains water supply with a pipe buried in the ground and attach the ball cock in one of three locations directly onto the pond. The downside to this is it can be unsightly and will require a bracket or fixing to support it at the correct level. The second option is in a chamber of a gravity fed filter. This is often very easy to achieve and we have used this many times on the ponds at the Japanese water gardens. The only drawback is that the ball cock will have to be set when the pump is running and may interfere with the operation of certain filters. The third option would be my preferred option. Install it in a chamber at the side of the pond which will serve as a balance tank. I would recommend that an isolation valve is used before the ball cock for occasions when you want to disable the system. It's also worth considering the installation of an inline dechlorinator to remove any chlorine from the mains water and give you total peace of mind. You could also add an overflow pipe to the balance tank to prevent the pond becoming swamped during periods of heavy rainfall. A ball cock is great at keeping your pond topped up to the right level when water is evaporating during hot weather or being discharged from a drum filter, for instance. So why don't we all use this wonderful invention and save all this nonsense? After all, ball cocks and a bit of pipework are cheap. Well, as is often the case with ponds, when they get built, we don't go the extra mile and add in extra refinements such as this. We are just so keen to get the pond up and running, we make compromises. Put in a few hours extra work during the construction stage to save the stress and hassle for years to come. This is a very simple upgrade that makes a massive difference. I would never build a koi pond and not install one. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please help support the channel, click thumbs up, subscribe and post comments. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.